Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. A pizza review today. Yes, indeed, the, uh, in my case anyway, the long-awaited pizza review. I feel that when it comes down to the world of fast food, at least the, the main chains, the popular, highly frequented establishments, there haven't been too many new pizza-related releases as of late. And I will say, me personally, the pizza reviews are my favorite to do. Now, whether this item is good or not, obviously we haven't any sort of idea yet. We're gonna find out. Trying out an item from Little Caesars today. This is titled The Old World Fanceroni Pizza. The Old World, right? It's got a hundred slices. I, I kind of, that was a really bad joke. Here's the big, the big catch about it. You have these different types of pepperoni. And I've seen other names for this. But there's that type of pepperoni, it's very small circular, and the edges of it will usually curl and it will become crispy, and they call that old world pepperoni. And this pizza, they say, has not 10, not 15, not 50, 100 slices of old world pepperoni. They say it is covered to the crust with the old world pepperoni, so much so, because you think, what do you call the pizza that has what you would almost consider to be a pepperoni overload. A pizza with extra pepperoni? Absolutely not. You call it a fanceroni pizza, an old world fanceroni pizza. It's available at the price of $10, again from Little Caesars. So the big appeal, 100 slices of this old world pepperoni stretching to the crust. And uh, that's the big selling point. Again, for $10, it's a hand tossed pizza. I do want to mention, though, and I don't know how folks will prioritize it, but I, I do think that this is information that you need to know. This is a pizza that contains 3,000 calories. So that's just something to get out there. Here's the box. Pretty standard, I will say, though you could see the grease soaking through the bottom of the box. And let's open it up and take a look at the pizza. So there it is. And this is what I mean about how the pepperoni curls at the edges and gets crispy. So there I am with it. And a very pepperoni filled pizza. Now if someone actually has the time and they want to count all the pepperonis, you're welcome to. I'm afraid I don't this time around, but I would wager at the very least it has a lot of pepperoni on it. So it's a very, very pepperoni-filled pizza. I'll say this, it looks pretty good. Though, might it be even a little overboard, perhaps? Let's get a slice. Guess I'll try to get this slice. How's it cut? Let's see. No, it's actually cut pretty straightforward. That's good. And here's a close-up view of it. Again, the... The Ronies. Very greasy pizza, 3,000 calories. Lots of pepperoni. It's like a, it's like a tentacle, like an octopus, right? But there's no octopus on this. These are just old world pepperonis. So, you know what's on it. I know what's on it. We all know what's on it. We all know what there is to it. Let's try it out. The old world fanceroni pizza from Little Caesars going in. I just paused the camera just for the sake of time consolidation. So I'm just making my way through this slice. Here's a little uh, cross-section. 
as I reach the crust. Again, pretty hand tossed. And you could see that's what it looks like. There's the crust. So I'm just going to take a bite out of the crust and then we'll get into the review itself. One thing that I want to mention real quick before I forget, I know that a lot of people kind of watch these videos. Some just watch it one off just for a certain item. Other people maybe tune in regularly. Last video I did was for Arby's. It was, it was for those uh, fish strips. I regret doing that review. I really do. Those are horrible. Um, they tasted all right. They, they were, they were average, but some people commented and, and they were right uh, that there was something wrong with that fish. And, uh, you know, I felt it for a few days. It made me, it made me sick. There was a, it wasn't cleaned properly or something, but that was, it was literal poison. I mean, it was literal poison. That's what you get sometimes. This, on the other hand, I'm not getting any sort of poison vibes from. That's the good thing there. Little Caesars, I know, when it comes down to how pizzas can be sometimes, uh, Little Caesars, they get regarded quite a bit as like the economy pizza place. You go there for something that's really, you know, it could be really high calories, um, but for, for what you're getting, for what you're paying, you get a decent sized pizza and a good amount of food for the price. But it's essentially one of those things, it's like, ah, you get what you pay for it sometimes. This, I'm happy to say, for the most part is good. For the most part. All right, the main selling point is obviously the pepperoni. Now first, let's just run through the rest of the pizza. This is a hand-tossed pizza, has a little bit of substance to it, as you could see in that cross-section. It's not necessarily a thin and crispy crust pizza, however, it's not a doughy deep-dish pizza, but it does have a little bit of, of firmness to it, again, a little bit of substance. It can be a little chewy from one bite to the next, but by no means is it overwhelming at all. That's fine completely. The crust does have a little bit of a crisp to it, but it's not what I would define as a very hard, crunchy crust. It just has a little bit of a bake to it. So that also needs to be emphasized. The cheese, totally fine. A little on the greasy side, but I think a lot of that also has to do with the pepperoni. And the sauce is as robust as ever. Always a good addition to the pizza. Now here's the one thing, and I mentioned the sauce last because it's going to be tied into this analysis here. The old world pepperoni, and here's a, a loose piece of it that I could kind of, I could show you. You could get a good look at it right there. All right, that's what it looks like. Again, it's kind of cupped. It's like what you'd see on an octopus. And it curls at the edges and has that little bit of a, little bit of a crisp to it. I've always enjoyed the old world pepperoni. When Pizza Hut did the Detroit style pizza. That had that old world pepperoni on it as well. I'm not in focus. You could blame the old world pepperoni, I guess. And I enjoyed it. I like that crisp that it offers. What I've noticed is the old world pepperoni, though, maybe it's just, I'm, it's just the way that it is, I suppose, always is a bit, a bit saltier, I notice. It seems like it's a saltier variety of pepperoni. Sometimes they could be a bit more spicy. There's always going to be that degree of saltiness. But these just seem a little saltier than uh, average. I like that crisp. But here's the only thing. Some people, I think, will find this pizza to be too much of a good thing, per se. I like the old world pepperoni, but as I was biting into this, it gets relentless to a point where, okay, I could say, this tastes good, I'm enjoying it, but you get, it's greasy, it's oily, it's salty, and you get more of that, and more of that, and more of that, bite after bite after bite. 
And I think you could tell by the cross section, this is not a pizza that's very heavy on the sauce. I think a solution to this, because as I said, as I was eating this, it's enjoyable, it's pretty good, but the only problem is like I said, it's getting to be too much of a good thing. So the pepperoni just gets excessive after a little while. And I know you've had those items before where you're, you're sitting there, you're eating, and you think, yeah, this is just a bit much, right? You have the first few bites, it's like, yeah, this is great, but then you get that next bite and that next bite, and it gets overwhelming. And that's the type of situation you find yourself in here. There's an easy solution, though. Their sauce is very robust. It's a very robust, bold uh, tomato sauce. And this pizza itself is a bit light on the sauce, so you don't really see it getting canceled out. Here's what I would recommend, and I think this would solve this sort of overwhelming uh, problem with the pepperoni and all of that. When you get this pizza, you don't even need to get it heavy on the sauce, if that's, you know, maybe you don't want to do that. But I would get this with a cup of their marinara dipping sauce on the side. I've had that marinara sauce before, it's pretty much just like what you get on the pizza. Very bold, very flavorful. And I guarantee, if you get it with that marinara sauce, you have the cup there, and you just dip it in the sauce, which I think this is a pretty good pizza for dipping, uh, that will be a good addition, it will accompany it nicely, and I have a feeling that that sauce will negate any of this overwhelming greasy or saltiness from all of the pepperoni. But by and large, I would rather sit here and, as my criticism, say that maybe it has too much of something, especially pepperoni in this case, as opposed to sitting here saying, ah, you're paying 10 bucks and you're only getting 10 pieces of pepperoni, and there's barely anything on this, etc., etc. Because that's the way a lot of stuff goes at this point. You get less and less and less, and the quality just goes down the tubes. So it's actually nice, in a sense, after everything that I've been seeing, to be able to say, maybe it's actually got a little too much of a good thing, and for 10 bucks, you're getting a decent-sized pizza. And my goodness, I'll say this, you're getting your money's worth in terms of the toppings. Could just be a little overwhelming. Get that marinara sauce on the side, and I think you'll be set. Good deal price-wise, pretty good pizza. That one criticism I have, but otherwise it's pretty solid. And even that criticism is relatively minor, because I see the solution being very easy and very practical to fix. So that said, out of 10, I'm going to be giving the Old World Fanceroni Pizza from Little Caesars a 7.2 out of 10. Pretty good, all things considered. Ah, uh, yeah, an enjoyable Little Caesars item. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.